All right, guys, hang in there with me. Uh, Audio is not going to be real great. I'm having some microphone problems with this new phone. So uh, I want to talk today about uh, buck beds, a little bit different than doe beds. They do like to bed different ways in different areas. A mature buck, anyway. One thing I've stumbled onto the last couple years that's really helped out my hunting is uh, I've found kind of what those older bucks prefer in a bedding area. Uh, it's about the same everywhere, but our area is unique because of the rolling hills we have and all the all of the steep ridges. Those those big old whitetails, they like to get somewhere, uh, like to get somewhere up on the side of one of those hills, not completely on top. They want to be just over the cusp of it, where they're they're on the edge where they can't be seen from something on top of the ridge. Uh, they do want the wind coming from their backside, blowing to the back of their head when they get bedded, so they can smell anything coming behind them. And they get on those ridge sides where the sound is is kind of uh, amplified in those bottoms where they can hear and see all the way down through that bottom you know leaves crunching or whatever or see across the field whatever they want they can hear a long ways when they do that and uh, they like to have something on their back between them and a predator uh, they, whether it be a rock a root wad a tree stump uh, you know a down tree is a good one any anytime you got tops in a logged area they like to get in there and get something against their back, put something between them and uh, whatever's trying to get them. They also like to uh, bed by themselves. You know, if a couple bucks run together, they'll run together till they bed, and then, you know, they may be 50 or 100 yards apart, and, you know, they cover more turf that way. Uh, don't, let, don't, don't think for a second just because certain times here they don't get along, they don't still look out for one another. Like I said before, you're hunting a whole different critter when you're hunting uh, an older deer. <clears throat> You'll find doe beds in the middle of fields. Uh, they, they just want something kind of tall around them where they can hide in and they can see out of. They're, they're not real picky. They'll bed right up on top of a ridge or a flat. Uh, you know, they're, they're, they'll bed about anywhere. They'll bed in a barn, you know, just about anywhere they can lay down. But a buck, he's pretty picky about where he beds. And he won't just have one bed that he uses, but he won't have a whole lot. He'll have you know anywhere from three to five beds in a general area he might have a field that he likes to watch or bottom he likes to watch he'll have a couple beds on each ridge ridge overlooking all that in that bottom that he can see down he can hear down and depending on which way the wind's blowing you know he get that wind that he's back where you know he's got his back covered and his front covered so uh, they will when they access their bed uh, they will circle that entire ridge sometimes and they like to see where they came from, make sure nothing's following them, and they like to check out the area that's going to be behind them. So they'll make a loop before they hit that bed. So once you find those beds and stumble on them, and you know, you know, in the morning times when they're going to go bed back down, you're trying to get on them. Remember that. He's going to come in. He's not going to go straight to that bed. He's going to make a lap. He's going to check his uh, his route he just came in from, and he's going to find something to bed up against. So that's one thing that's really helped me to uh, pin these deer down that I've killed the last few years and uh, that's, that's one thing I look for now is where are they bedding at? That's their home range and once you find that you can find their access points in and out of there. Now this being early year you don't want to run right in there in the middle of his bedding area right now. Uh, leave that, leave it for a little bit, try to catch him going in and out of there. So, you know, There'll be a food source close of some sort whether it be greens or uh, you know in our area acorns are falling now. But he'll 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 stay close enough to some browse, and there's definitely gonna be water, you know, somewhere in the general area of some of some type. But those bucks, they like to get away from everybody else. They like to get away from everything else, especially me and you. So give that a thought next time you're you're thinking about your stand location and where you're gonna hunt. Keep your eyes peeled for those characteristics in a bed, and you'll be able to tell. You know he's using it. It'll be slipping in more than once. It'll be matted down pretty good. Oh, there'll be a lot of scat, there'll be a lot of tracks in and out of there, there'll be a pretty good path beat to it. But I don't mean he uses it every night. Like I said, he'll have anywhere from three, five, heck, he might have seven beds in that area. So just, just keep your eyes filled for those characteristics. Something at their back, uh, off the edge of a ridge. He wants to be able to hear and see down in front of him, and he wants the wind to his back where he can smell anything slipping up on him. Remember when they access, they're going to make a lap, they're going to check their back trail, and they're going to make sure nothing's on that ridge with them before they lay down for the day. Anyway, hang in there. Rut's on its way. would like to say congratulations to Mr. Daniel Watson. Uh, he won the bow on the drawing. He 
uh, we'll probably do another one before too long if y'all are interested. Kind of did that more to give back to the people that are giving to us. You guys have, have come through and the bit. To, I mean, you support us like no other. I, I can't thank every one of you enough. Lending a hand, you know, we're a small community, and uh, you people have really, really showed your love and, and really carried us through some tough times. You know, cancer's out to get every one of us, guys. You know, it ain't it ain't just certain people. You don't care how old you are, how young you are. You don't care how many bills you got, whatever. So every little bit helps, and I do appreciate you guys. So, all right, Mark's in the woods this week. Uh, we should be on the same schedule before too long. So uh, keep your eyes peeled. Dope patrol season is on. Do a couple broadhead tests. I wouldn't count on that Spitfire double cross, Joby. Uh, I bought some, and I just really don't like them. You know, I, I hate I hate to put anything in the quiver that I don't I don't care for, and I really don't care for that one. So. Either way, I thank y'all for uh, tuning in, and I'll try to get this microphone problem solved. So, all right, guys, we'll see you later.